Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. If you're heading off on your holidays over the next 10 days ahead of the Easter break and you're hoping for some fine weather, well, there will be plenty of it around. Some warm sunshine to enjoy during the next five days especially, but only if you're out of the wind because the wind will have an edge to it. It's coming in from the east and temperatures will be below average. There'll be some overnight frosts as well. We lose those frosts next week because it's going to slowly turn warmer but it will turn wetter in places, some rain expected, especially in the south. Very little rainfall over the next five days. The jet stream in a highly contorted state, this past flow and current of air high in the sky, over the Atlantic there, it then splits in two to the west of the UK, one branch going well to the north, one to the south, leaving a space over the UK where high pressure has built sitting over Scandinavia and that's been bringing us this cold easterly airflow and what temperatures well below average as we start off Thursday widespread frost expected minus one minus two degrees in some urban areas a few degrees below that in the countryside so gardeners watch out for that but it does soon warm up into the afternoon temperatures returning to eight or nine on the coast 11 or 12 further west but it's going to feel cold on that coast in the wind off the North Sea and there'll be a fair amount of cloud around as well, a few showers for northeast Scotland. But otherwise, it's dry. There'll be plenty of bright weather. There'll be some sunshine, plenty of sunshine for Wales and southern counties of England. And in that sunshine, it's gaining strength at this time of year, feeling pleasant enough. This will change really into Friday. We've still got that large area of high pressure over Scandinavia. We've still got the chilly easterly airflow from the North Sea. One or two showers cropping up across eastern Britain. Otherwise, it's another dry and bright day. Best of the sunshine in the west, 12, 13 degrees, eight or nine on that chilly North Sea coast. And you can see the extent of that chilly airflow, these blues coming out of Scandinavia. If this was the winter, it would be really quite cold, but it's April, so things are slowly warming up. Nevertheless, heading into the weekend, we actually start to pull in even darker blues. And that means that by Saturday, don't be surprised if you live in East Anglia in the southeast to see a few hail showers or even a few sleet showers. The air is that cold that we could see one or two of those turning up through Saturday and possibly Sunday. But they're not going to cause any issues. It's just something of interest. Further west, brighter and drier weather, plenty of sunshine. Now, always a chance that this weather front will push in some rain into the far west of Northern Ireland, but it's coming up against high pressure, so it's not going to make much progress further east. Double figures in the west, but feeling fairly cold in the strengthening wind, eight degrees at its uh, highest in the east. Spot the difference into Sunday. One difference is that this weather front starts to twist around. Now it's tried to come in from the west and failed, but it will have greater success, I suspect, later in the weekend and into next week, coming up from the southwest. That high pressure will allow, I think, low pressure to turn up from the southwest into the start of next week. So it's trying a different route. And what it initially does is change the wind direction. Southeasterly winds through the first part of next week. We cut off that cold easterly airflow. And that means temperatures will slowly start to rise. We'll begin to lose those overnight frosts. And by day, temperatures will reach the mid to high teens, I think, through southeast England into parts of Wales and northwest Britain, where there'll be plenty of sunshine. Still quite chilly, though, on that North Sea coast with the wind coming in from the sea. But so the weather patterns on the whole will start to shift through next week. Low pressure coming up from the southwest, initially bringing warmer weather, but also it will start to bring up areas of rain into the south and the east. That we are fairly confident about up until around Thursday. Then things turn more uncertain into the Easter weekend. So certainly a case of staying up to date with the forecast. And you can find all our updates through the Metal Office social media channels and via our app. Bye bye.